If you replace the D in Kendall, you get Kennel because I got that dog in me anyways. I was watching YouTube and I saw a video about Pokemon where they replaced one letter in the Pokemon's name and then they drew the Pokemon as that new Pokemon name. I'm going to be doing the same thing but with Workshop changes and the Overwatch heroes. Normally I do every hero but I couldn't think of one for every hero so comment down below any ideas that you guys have for the other heroes. And they don't have to be exact words. For example, as this first one, instead of Hanzo, I replaced the H with a G, and we got Gonzo, which sounds like Gonzo, like my dad. Anyways, whenever Hanzo gets shot and killed, he will ragdoll really far away. This also works in the reverse. For example, whenever Hanzo hits a headshot, he also flings the person that he shoots into the distance. As a trade-off though, Gonzo will do much, much less damage, but a critical hit will always kill and will always cause a ragdoll. Next up, let's talk about Pinston. It's Winston, but I changed the W with a P. This is actually pretty straightforward. Whenever Winston jumps, he will instead do a Reinhardt charge. And just to make it a little bit different, Pinston has about the same control as Magus Charge, but it does the Reinhardt Charge damage and it will grab people. This is made even more funny when you pop your ultimate and you get your leap back, or when your ultimate ends you get it back so you can pin someone again. Originally I was going to do it like the Blight from Dead by Daylight where you can bounce around and do hits like that, but then I found it really funny kidnapping people as Winston, I mean uh, Pinston, so I decided to do that instead even if it overlaps with Reinhardt a little bit. Next up is a really big one and a little bit of a stretch. So we got Mora, right? So I replaced the A with a B. And this doesn't look like a word or anything, but if you say it out loud, it says Morb. Like Michael Morbius, my favorite movie ever of all times because of how good it is and how good the plot is and the characters. My favorite part is when he freaking Morb, so let's talk about him. I went to Google. Oh my God, it has different results now. What the heck? What? What? <laughs> Why is it? Hang on. Let me change my screen. So I'll show you the picture I took earlier, but why does it say A here? That's not right. What superpower is this? Anyways, luckily I took a picture of it. So I looked up what powers Morbius had, and it said regenerative healing factor. Luckily, Mora, since she is a support, already has that. Superhuman strength. There's not really a good way to emulate super strength in Overwatch. So I could have made it so when she melee, she throws someone, but I'm going to use the melee later. So instead, whenever Mora holds out her orbs, it's kind of like she's about to grab someone and then she flings them backwards. Next up is superhuman agility. Just like with the superhuman strength, I'm not really sure what to do with superhuman agility. But luckily, this power will fall into the same criteria as some of the other powers. So I didn't do anything unique for this one, really. I mostly just classified her fade as superhuman agility and just called it a day. With that being said, her superhuman reflexes are tied to her ultimate. Whenever Mora ultimates, Instead of doing her normal Kamehameha, she will instead slow down time, fling herself in a direction with her fade, and then she can reposition from there. Since time will be slowed down, she will probably not get hit. And the reason that I tied this to her ultimate is because in an earlier game mode, I made it so whenever Tracer throws her pulse bomb, it slows down time. But I left the ultimate thing on, so basically everyone had their ultimate at all times, and it made the game mode unplayable since it was always in slow motion. So this time I'm not going to leave that on, hopefully. And the game mode should be playable without going into slow motion all the time. I really wish that you could make it so only one person was affected by the slow-mo, but that's just not how it works. So more superhuman reflexes are turning everyone into slow motion while she's able to fade away and reposition. Next up is her vampirization and fangs. I actually combined these two. Whenever Morbia, which I should have called her from the beginning, melee someone, she gives that person the vampire disease. The only issue is that I've done so many game modes where you can infect someone and turn them into your hero that I decided not to do it this time. Instead, you just take damage over time because the blood is infecting you, and it will do 200 damage over time, so you must find a health pack to stop it or get healed so you survive it. As a reminder, if I didn't say it already, you must melee someone in the back, so if they're looking at you, it does not work. Next is Enhanced Senses. For the Enhanced Senses, I made it so whenever you press Interact, you will start listening with echolocation and you will see people outlined in white. Or at least you would if outlines weren't broken. Yeah, as of the editing of this video, the outlines are broken. So when we were testing it for gameplay, it did not work. I didn't understand that. Then I found it in the Overwatch Workshop Discord that apparently outlines don't work. So guess what? It doesn't work. 
Also, this is a very good time for me to mention that there is no code for this game mode because of these glitches. And on top of that, I can also do the code for when I do the whole entire thing. So sorry about that. Please fix the workshop and stop adding these bugs to Overwatch. The only issue is you cannot discern them from friend and foe. So you can see them through walls. You can see everyone, whether they're on the enemy team or your team, but you don't know whose team they're on. You also can't do anything during this just because I felt it would be too overpowered to always have wall hacks. As for gliding, whenever you're in the air, you can hold down jump and manipulate your gravity, which kind of simulates gravity, it's not perfect. But I also did this for the superhuman agility, as I mentioned earlier, so feel free having fun just kind of floating around, like a bat in a way, except the bat that can't fly. Next up is communication, I'm not really sure what to do with this one. A bit unfortunately is when I clicked on the link it also mentioned the echo location, so enhanced senses and communication kind of overlap. So unfortunately, I didn't do anything for communication. Plus, you can just join a voice channel, but good luck with that. After that is immortality. Since they're a video game character, they're already kind of immortal, so I don't need to do anything for that. After that is immunity to most vampire vulnerabilities. This one is actually really nice. This means that Mora can be, I mean, Morbia can be in any map, even if it has harsh sunlight. After that is mesmerism. Whenever an Overwatch hero stares at you for too long, you will mesmerize them. With that, you can control all of their abilities, primary fire, secondary fire, jumping, crouching, reloading. You can even pop their ultimate. This is similar to something I did in an earlier game mode, but since it's telling me to do it for Morbius, I just imported that over. As I should mention, like I did in the other video, you are not allowed to control where they go or where they look, simply because that breaks the game mode too hard and it crashes stuff too. So it's just the ability, primary fire, secondary fire, reloading, crouching, jumping, probably some other stuff. And hopefully it controls you pressing the subscribe button. Also, did you know that when you say subscribe, it actually like highlights the subscribe button? At least it does on Opera GX. Not a sponsor, by the way, I just use Opera. But I find it really cool that when you say subscribe, it like highlights it if you're not subscribed. And finally, after that, there's the man called Morbius, which basically just states that Morbius has the power of Morbius's vampire, so... It basically tells you that Morbius is not like generic vampires. So I don't really need to do anything because I already imported all of Morbius' abilities to Morbia. This one is definitely my favorite. I put the most time in it because it's literally Mora, but it's Mora with her A replaced to a B, so she's Morb. And I'm just going to call her Morbia because it's funnier. And I was actually originally going to do a superhero video where I turned every single Overwatch hero into a superhero. But I didn't get much feedback on that and I didn't have any good translations. But this was one of the best ones that I had. So when I saw that I could replace the A for Mora into a B to make Morb, I had to do this. Even if it's spelled wrong, it's it's Morb. It's pronounced Morb. And those of you do, I guess, Mora, Morb. Anyways, moving on to the next one is May. I changed the M to an L to make Lay. Whenever you press Cryo Freeze, instead of going into the cryostasis, you lay on the ground and die. And then four seconds later, you get back up. This should be used as a fake out death as it does credit the closest person to you. So if someone's shooting you and you want to fake your death, you can lay on the ground and die and then get back up and shoot them. Alternatively, if you're just low health, you can press it and go semi-invulnerable because you're dead, you can't get killed. And then you'll come back with 150 HP. This isn't the most innovative change, but it's kind of funny seeing Mora. Wait, uh, cut dang it. I just talked about Morbia for so long that I just said a, said a freaking name. Guys, I've been up all night. It's 1130 in the morning and I did all these changes overnight and then I decided to do voiceovers. Why do I do this to myself? I don't even remember what I was talking about. Uh, May can lay on the ground to heal herself or fake her death. It gives kill credit to the closest person to her, so you can actually uh, possibly fake people out. Anyways, next up we got Road Hug. If Road Hug melee someone who is meleeing, he will hug them and kill them because he hugs them so hard. I did want to make this better, but I'm not really sure how to. So instead, it's kind of like you start becoming a tornado. I don't know why. But basically what is happening is Road Hug is hugging you so hard that you're trying to escape and you die. Next up is Ana, and I actually had a few that I could do. I could have either done DNA, replacing the first A with a D, or I could do AND, replacing the last A with a D. And since I have an idea for something similar to DNA later down the line, I decided to do AND. This is basically like a friendly echo duplication. Whenever you nano boost someone, you will turn into them with their ultimate nearly wet ready. Oh my god, I said wetty. I would redo that voiceover, but I lost my train of thought again. This is why I shouldn't do this at 
11 in the morning. Anyways, as I said, it's like a duplication, but you can duplicate your teammate. And the idea with this is to use two ultimates at once, even though you don't need to. The person you duplicate doesn't even have to have their ultimate for you to use it. The best case scenario is that you just get a very overpowered ultimate and you can just pop it on the enemy team. And finally, we got Sigma, where I replaced the S with an L so you can Ligma balls. When Sigma ultimates, he dies. Wait, I've done that before. Okay, so I replaced the S with a D, so I have Digma, so they dig underground, but I just did that with Venture. So here's been my problem with a majority of the characters. I have just done it before, and I'm sure some people won't mind if I do some of the same stuff, especially when there's 39 heroes or whatever there are, but I've just been having issues thinking of good ideas. So this is why I made this video. I'm going to continue this by doing every single hero. And I actually do have Sigmas, I just don't want to show you guys yet. So please comment down below any ideas that you guys want to see when I finish this game mode. And feel free to suggest stuff for heroes that I've already done, but I might not change them just because it does take a while to do it. I can tell you right now I am not changing Mora under any scenario. And as long as it sounds similar to a word, or maybe it has a word like Gonzo, because Zo isn't a word, but people know what Gonzo means. It'll work, so like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna have to go get yelled at by customers at Subway, and I'll see you all later.